For the 41st problem on this first ACT practice test, which of the following vertical lines cuts ABCD into two trapezoids with equal areas? So basically, we're given this trapezoid here, and we need to figure out where to draw a vertical line such that when we do this, we cut the area of this trapezoid into two equal parts. Or in other words, that this area here would be equal to this area here. And the way to approach this is by first finding the area of the overall trapezoid. So to do that, let's first take a look at trapezoids in general and figure out a formula for the area. So let me draw a trapezoid really quick. And let's say that the length of each base is five here and 11 here. And let's also say that it has a height of four. So to find the area of a trapezoid in general, you'll essentially take both bases and average them together. And the reason we do that is that if we average these together, five plus 11 is 16, and then dividing by two gives us eight. So that length of eight would be in the exact center of this trapezoid if we drew it straight across. So this white line I just drew would have length eight. And the reason we would wanna do that is because notice that if I were to take this triangle here and essentially cut it out and do the same thing here, that this these triangles will fit perfectly into this gap up here where there is no triangle. So what we're doing, we're essentially taking these little triangle pieces on the side and just moving them up. And notice what happens when we essentially plug in these gaps here by moving these extra pieces, we end up with just a rectangle where the base of it or the length is eight and the height is whatever height we started with, which was four. So in finding the area of a trapezoid, all you're really doing is transforming it into a rectangle, which we know how to find the area of. Namely, the area of this, this rectangle is 32, but I'm also claiming that it's the area of this trapezoid as well. And one way to check this is that you can take the trapezoid and essentially cut off the triangle pieces, since you already know how to find the area of a triangle, and then you'd be left with just a rectangle in the middle, and you can also find the area of that. So let's write a formula in general. For the area of a trapezoid, you wanna average the bases. So let's say base one plus base two, and then divide it by two, and then multiply by the height. So it's essentially the averaged base times the height, which is essentially the general rule for many different quadrilaterals. So now that we know the formula for the area of a trapezoid, let's apply it with our particular problem. So we just need to know the height and the length of both of these bases. So the top base starts at an x value of three and goes to an x value of nine. So we can say that this base is length six. And the bottom one starts at two and goes to 12. So we can say this has length of 10. And the height, you can notice that the top two points each have a y value of four, and the bottom two points have a y value of one. So this height here, we could say is three. So in finding the area of our trapezoid, we have to average these two bases. We have six plus 10, and then divided by two to average them, multiplied by the height of three. So what we're left with is 16 divided by two, which is eight, eight times three, which is 24. So the area of this trapezoid is 24 square units. So now we just wanna figure out where do we draw this line to cut that in half? So we need to figure out the x value, which I'll just call x here, such that each of these separate areas of the trapezoid would now have an area of 12. So our next step is to just pick one of these. And notice that these are two individual trapezoids. 
So we can use the exact same area formula, but now we'd have to put in more general terms where essentially our trapezoid ends. So what I mean by that is we want the area of our trapezoid that's cut in half. So I'll put a little one half down here to denote that. So this is equal to the same height, which is three, but now multiplied by the averaged bases. So we know we'll divide by two when we average them. Let's think about this top base first. We know that it has an x coordinate of three on the left, but we don't know its x coordinate on the right. So what we can do is say that this top length is just x minus three. Since if it was an x value of six, then the top part would, the top base would only be three units long. And then we also have to add the bottom base, which we'll use the same argument, since it's at an x value of two on the left and it's cut off at this x value, which we've just called x. So we'd be adding x minus two for the bottom base. And we know that this total area has to equal 12. So now we have an equation where we can solve for x. So let's do that. We have three times x minus three plus x minus two. So we have two x's and then minus five if we combine them, all divided by two equals 12. And now simplifying, we can multiply each side by two and then divide by three. So what we're left with is that two x minus five equals, so 12 times two is 24, divided by three would give us eight. And adding five to each side, we have that two x equals 13 and dividing by two, x is 13 halves, which is the same thing as 6.5. So if we split our trapezoid with the line x is equal to 6.5, then it would exactly cut both of these trapezoids into the same area. So choice letter E here is the final answer.